All right, let's get started. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming out. I am Matt Bingham. I am the vice president of product for the Bridge product at Instructure. You are in the introduction to Brig Bridge se session. If you're in the wrong session, we'll pause for a minute to let anyone uncomfortably leave. OK, we got everyone. Hey, um, we wanted to take a little bit of time to just give you a little bit of an overview of what Bridge is, uh, why Instructure decided uh, to go build another product, another LMS. Um, and you're going to hear from a couple people, me for a few minutes, uh, so one of our regional directors, and then probably more importantly, we're going to bring a customer up uh, so he can talk about his experience uh, with Bridge and, and why we feel that's a good fit, uh, not only for the corporate market, uh, but specifically for the education institutes that have really been great uh, Canvas customers. Um, we started Bridge a little over two years ago. I actually just came into the business about a year ago to just kind of put some some gas on it, I guess, right? Really help accelerate the growth of it. Uh, and things have been going really, really well. I think last year at InstructureCon, and I came on the day after InstructureCon ended, uh, we had a bridge booth out there, and um, it was really heavily attended, a lot of interest. Um, and that prompted us to actually invite some of our bridge customers out to InstructureCon this year. So yesterday, we had sort of a little mini pre-conference where we got over 50 of our customers in one room and um, talked about a little bit about the roadmap where we're taking Bridge. Um, but again, more importantly, had other customers uh, start to tell their story about how they're using the product, where it's successful, like where it falls apart. I'm a product guy, I like to hear that side too. Um, and yeah, I think we all left just feeling really excited about um, our customers, about the product, um, and more importantly, where we want to take it. Um, when we go back, and I think I've got a slide or two here. Yeah, there we go. Here's what Bridge is. It's modern LMS. Um, so why would a company like Instructure, who had a mega successful uh, LMS on the Canvas side, uh, go and decide to build from the ground up a brand new platform aimed at, at corporate markets and more business type of use cases? And, um, you know, I've asked myself that question a couple times as well. But the reality is we took Canvas and we put it in a couple of corporate environments and you know it worked but it wasn't really the product experience that Instructure wanted to deliver, right? And that's how we differentiate is our building great products and that's how we're gonna continue to differentiate on the Canvas side, on the bridge side and you know any other side we can think of over the next uh, 10 years. Um, and that was the reality was we know if we wanted to deliver a best of breed experience on the corporate side, that we really needed to focus on those type of use cases, right? So things like compliance trading, things like onboarding that don't really uh, work too well on the Canvas side. Um, but more importantly, and the thing that gets me really excited about this market is yes, we can handle those kind of um, established use cases, but there's really been this resurgence uh, in the corporate side of things on learning. And a lot of that's been brought in by you know younger workforces that are really focused on skill development, right? And they come to a job uh, wanting to know how to get better at it, right? It's almost a continuation of that higher ed experience, right? Where they just want to keep growing in their career and they're not coming into a place to stay there for 20 years or until their retirement. They're coming in to stay for like two or three years um, and they want to get better really quick for their next job. I uh, It's funny, I um, actually, as I was uh, interviewing around, um, when I took the job at Instructure, I was talking to a company out in Seattle and we were getting close to an offer phase and uh, the head of HR wanted to talk to me for a bit. And uh, she was so proud of what they had done at their company where they had double the retention uh, length, uh, tenure time of employees at Google. And I said, well, how long is your tenure? She goes, three years. That means Google has an average retention of employees of one and a half years, right? Uh, so when we start to tell this education and learning story and on the corporate side of the markets, that can be a really powerful tool in helping to retain employees, right? Keep them happier in their jobs. And, you know, that's where I think Bridge has really been uh, successful and resonated. It's taken the great user experience we had with Canvas and I think taking it even further, right? And I think when I talk to my customers, a lot of the reason that they picked Bridge is uh, training is so personal uh, to the makeup of a company that they thought that the that Bridge was really a nice extension of their brand. And man, you take something like um, corporate training and think about like all the ethics training courses you had to take or sexual harassment prevention, um, like kind of not great subjects 
made way worse by a really bad product experience, right? And so as a result, there's been this natural resistance to these type of products in the corporate space. Um, so as we kind of tell the bridge story, again, let's reinvent our learning strategy um, at, inside of corporations uh, and really bubble out a product uh, that can deliver on making those experiences better, um, but also really focusing on closing that skill gap, helping employees continue to deliver. And in fact, when we kind of look at the future, and you know, it was great to talk about this and get some feedback um, from our customers yesterday of where we want to take this product, it's, it's almost like some of the discussions that's happening in higher ed, right, with repurposing um, degrees to being based on these core competencies. Well, the same thing is happening uh, on the corporate side where we talk about the skills and the competencies you should have to get hired into a role, right? You as a, you know, a product manager should be great at product strategy, great at working with engineers, um, great at customer interactions. And they're like, great, we proved that out in the interview process, come into the company, now just be good at your job. Well, why don't we carry that message on into the continual development of employees? And so as we shift our learning strategy to really focus on growing these core competencies and skills, uh, we can go from this like, what did you get hired for type of uh, situation to like, grow my skills, right? And it's funny, here's the thing I love about Bridge, right? It's a, it's an e-learning platform. We've spent a lot of engineering time building out really great features to do live in-person training. Seems counterintuitive, uh, but that's the reality. Like that's how you create and engage learning is this blended approach. There's things that you can do on your own, learn at your own pace, um, but there's a ton of value in that face-to-face -face time, uh, getting in a room with your peers and discussing subjects and growing together. Um, and really, as we, we start to look at this right visual over here, uh, I think there's an opportunity for us to extend that message um, by getting closer with our managers and our mentors and giving them the tools uh, to help our skills grow. So we really see Bridge uh, continuing to develop to have this holistic approach uh, to training. Um, and then I think one important piece of that, and you started to see a lot of that in Bridge already, and we're gonna take that message even further, is assess how your growth is, right? You look at the way skills assessment happens uh, in the enterprise today. Um, you work for 12 months and then you get an annual review, maybe some 360 peer reviews. You get a little feedback that's really based on your last two weeks of work, maybe a month of work if people have good memories. And they give you a raise or a demotion or a promotion based on that and then you wait another 12 months, right? Um, man, what if we could bring that type of conversation on a much more frequent basis, right? Allow you to get um, peer assessment much more frequently or self-assessment or manager assessment to really see how you are progressing over time. So as I look back over the last year and how we started to formulate um, the vision of Bridge, um, it's different, right? On the Canvas side, the whole life is in the LMS, right? That's, that's the lifeblood of a student. Uh, when you apply that to the corporate side, um, the LMS is just a tiny piece of it. But that holistic approach uh, to growing employees and to growing skills, I think, is where we're going to really differentiate um, and be successful. So with that, I'd like to invite Brian Haber up, who's one of our regional director that, that actually specializes in the education space for us to talk a little bit about, I don't know, why you love Bridge. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Matt. I uh, truly appreciate it. Again, my name is Brian Haber. Um, I have been with Instructure for quite some time. Uh, I worked on the Canvas side for a couple of years. I'm very familiar with Canvas, intimately familiar with Canvas. Um, and I am the first Instructure employee to move over to Bridge. So I've been on Bridge since before Bridge was even Bridge. Um, and as of the beginning of this year, we had a new strategy come from our leadership that says, hey, we're seeing a lot of interest in the higher education space to take bridge to, to these institutions. Um, and I was tasked with heading, you know, taking bridge into all of these institutions across the country. So I'm flying ac uh, across the country um, weekly, uh, pretty much, to have uh, these types of conversations. But what I want to talk about for just a couple of minutes, minutes is why. Why, why did, sort of like what Matt talked about, why did we build a whole new learning management system? It's kind of weird, right? We might be the only company that has like two completely separate 
learning management system products. Um, what happens is, as I had co have conversations with universities, with institutions, with colleges across the country, they say, I have an LMS and I'm doing professional development in it and I'm doing some compliance training in it. Um, why would I maybe take a look at Bridge? Um, Chemist was designed for a student, professor, student, teacher interaction, right? My full-time job as a student is to learn, right? I'm paying very good money to get a fantastic education, to get a very good job. Um, whereas Bridge is much more focused on, I'm the working professional, I need on-demand training, I need compliance training, I want to go attend this, this meeting, I need to learn how to use Excel, I need to learn how to build an outline, soft skills, those types of things. So while you can do that in Canvas, it's sort of like a square peg in a round hole, you can, it's kind of like forcing a fit and there's sort of things you have to build. There's not a great way to track attendance if I'm doing live face-to-face -face meetings with my faculty and my staff. Not a great way to kind of get reporting from a compliance perspective to make sure we're in compliance and we're not getting fined. So that's really what Bridge was designed to do is exactly this, is take this idea that's not really student sort of academic focus, more of the working professional focus to um, simplify the way we make our people smarter, simplify the way we do onboarding for our employees, simplify the way we con continue to do professional development for our faculty, for our staff, for, all, for our volunteers, for our student workers. There's a lot of external folks, maybe adjunct professors as well that's Again, it's, it, it, it's doing it in Canvas works. It's sort of like trying to, trying to force a fit. Um, and since January of this year, we've seen phenomenal success and um, a lot of institutions really understanding the approach and why these two products are so different and why we built two completely different learning management systems. Um, Here are some of our clients really as of sort of January, February um, uh, of this year. Um, the, the University of Washington, the University of Utah, right? Abilene Christian University, Tulane University, fantastic organization. We had an amazing conversation and I love visiting New Orleans, um, love visiting Tampa. So anywhere, really, I, I'd love to chat with you about, uh, about White, Br White Bridge, but we've seen some phenomenal uh, uh, acceptance uh, as to how Bridge is built for a different use case, is built for a different audience, and is custom really for this use case of HR professional development, soft skills type training um, that, uh, that we try and use Canvas for. Um, but uh, again, that, that's, uh, that, that's Bridge in a nutshell. That's why I would recommend maybe taking a closer look at Bridge when, if, if we might be using Canvas for something like this. Um, the, the, the response is phenomenal. We're actually going to have our, our uh, amazing friend Daniel from the uh, UVU um, talk about his experience with Bridge, kind of how they're using it, some of, the, some of the changes they've seen over the past couple of years of using Bridge and some of the statistics and maybe some value that Bridge brings that's, that, that again is a little bit different than, uh, than Canvas. Um, and with that, Without further ado, I'd love to introduce uh, Daniel, um, and he will he'll kind of go over how they're using Bridge uh, while also using Canvas, right? Two different use cases. Hi, can you? Okay, I think you guys can hear me. Um, how's everyone doing today? Good. So last year, I was here for the first time, and um, I thought I was in good shape, right? So I get here, and my presentation, I presented on this last year, and I presented on the second floor of this same building. And I remember walking up you know, to, to the second floor, and by the time I got to my presentation, I was so out of breath. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, I need to go running. So this year, I decided you know, maybe to prep for instructure con, I'm gonna go running. Um, before. So last two weeks I've been running. Um, I'm still out of shape, I guess, because <laughs> I'm still out of breath. Um, so note to myself, next year if I come back, um, I need to start working out maybe a month or two ahead. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm, I'm on the first floor instead of the second floor. Um, so it, like it was mentioned by Matt and, and, and Brian, uh, my name is Daniel Delgadillo. I work at UVU, and let me give you a little background about myself and kind of what I do. Um, about, 
I want to say in 2011, uh, 2010, 2011, UVU, Utah Valley University acquired uh, Canvas. And at the time, I was working as an instructional technologist. So my role back then was to help new faculty, new, new adjuncts, get familiar with the new LMS, Canvas. And so my role was to train them, get them started, and then during the semester, to train them on, you know, maybe extra features. Uh, I used to look at their courses and enhance it. So that was my role. Um, two years ago, August 2015, well actually a little bit before that, um, our university was looking into putting some of our training, some of our compliance trainings online. And so they looked at putting it in Canvas. Now when we're looking at, at doing this, they thought, well, maybe Canvas wasn't built for employee learning and development. Maybe it was built more for uh, faculty and, and student. Right, so students can submit homework, faculty can grade it, and everything else that you know how to do. And so in 2015, August 2015, I was invited, um, I was hired to, I moved from what was called uh, distance education, it's now called the Office of Teaching and Learning, to human resources. And I became the manager of uh, employee learning and development. And at that time, that, the first responsibility that was given to me was, hey, we need to look at uh, LMS for employee learning development. And uh, so eventually in, let's see, in March of 2016, uh, we acquire Bridge. And so what I want to do is kind of talk to you on um, kind of the things where we've been and where we're going. So last year, I actually presented on kind of what we wanted to do. It had only been three, four months that we had acquired Bridge. And at the time, um, we only had about 200 employees that we were going to test this with. We wanted to do kind of a soft rollout. And so the first four months, we only picked 200 employees from different departments to help us and give us some feedback. Uh, we had five departments that we were working with to create content. And uh, we, at the time, we only had five authors. Uh, five authors, people that were gonna help us create content. Now, I'm not the uh, subject expert matter um, when it comes to maybe compliance, to, to uh, web development. So I needed to reach out to my different departments and see, hey, would you be interested in putting your face-to-face -face training online, right? And so um, we created 15 courses, and some of them were soft skills like effective communications, uh, how, to be, how to coach others. Um, we created web development courses. Anyone at, our, at UVU that wants to edit or create content to ma maintain their website needs to take a web development course um, Course, several courses that used to be done face-to-face. -face. Travel, um, anyone like myself right now that's traveling at a conference, an employee at the university has to go through, through a travel training. That was done face-to-face, -face. now you moved online. And then tuition. Uh, one of the benefits that work in a university that we have at uh, UVU is that uh, employees and the family get free tuition. So we, we wanted to talk about that, uh, put that online. Now live trainings. Um, Matt kind of mentioned that we have, um, Bridge has also a way to, to track things, face-to-face uh, -face trainings online, and that's called live training. At the time, we didn't have any, and we were just, like I said, getting started. So let's fast forward about a year later, and now, um, 2017, right now, this month, things have changed. We've been able to pick some traction, and I want to show you kind of what that looks like. So as of about a week ago when I was gathering this information, we've had 2,200 employees um, use Bridge to take online courses. Not for live trainings, um, just for our online courses. That's about half of our employees. We have 4,800 employees at UVU. That includes full-time faculty, uh, full-time staff, part-time staff, part-time faculty adjuncts and student employees, so about 4,800 employees. So almost half of them have gone through, and this, uh, to us, this is an impressive number, um, because when we acquired uh, Canvas, our first year, we only had about 20% of our faculty using uh, an LMS. They were a little hesitant to put things online. 
Um, so to have 50%, uh, almost 50% of our employees use Bridge was beyond what we had imagined. Our goal was 25%. So we now have uh, 21 departments that have created content online. I remember like, we I had five. We now have 21, and it's, we could probably have more, except there's only one of me, and so I can't, can't keep up with the demand. Uh, we have 18 authors. So pretty much every department has one author. There are some departments that I actually build their content for them. Um, and that number, again, keeps growing. Just last month, I added three more, so it used to be 15. Um, we have 115 courses. A year ago, we had 15. We have 115. We, we keep, keep adding more soft skills, um, courses, like I said, effective communication, compliance, things that every department, every employee needs to know. Web development, we keep adding more. We have course on accessibilities and, and much, much more. I mean, it's, we have a lot of courses out there. We have now 20 live trainings. Now, live trainings, kind of the, the way I think of it is kind of like a scheduler. Um, let's say you want to do a face-to-face -face training. You can schedule that in Bridge. People can go in, sign up, and then you, as a presenter, you can go back then and track who, who came, take attendance. And that stays on their employee records. So later in the future, um, a manager or someone else wants to see uh, the things that a specific employee worked on during the year, they can go into the system, to, into Bridge, and, and view that. So uh, 20 live training series, I should say. Okay, and the most impressive number to me is this last one. Um, when we put all the 2,200 employees hours that they spent in the system, it's about almost 1,200 hours. Um, most of our courses are short. We, we want them to be you know, five, 10, 15 minutes long. It's all about micro learning. So uh, that gives me about, maybe each employee is going in about, take, has taken about four or five courses. Again, because those courses are so short, we just want them to go in, get the knowledge, what they need, and then go back and do whatever they else, you know, they're in charge of doing. So you might be thinking, okay, so what are some of the top courses? Um, we have sexual harassment, sexual discrimination. This course used to be face-to-face, -face, four hours long. Um, we, uh, the person that's over this training wanted employees to know every single detail about sexual harassment, sexual discrimination. Now we put that online. Um, she used to run out of hours in, in, in a week because we have a lot of employees that we constantly hire. And so now every employee, when they come in within a month, they're given this, uh, this course and they have 15 days to complete it. Now another uh, nice feature with, with Bridge is we can trigger it so after two years it expires and then they are automatically enrolled into that course again. Um, that's something that uh, we have to do. Uh, we need to take this course every two years. So new employees take the course and in two years from now they will be uh, automatically enrolled to take it again. Web development, it's actually a program. A program, think of it kind of like modules in, in Canvas. You have a course and then another course. You can combine several courses into a program. And once they finish one course, they take another one and so on. So they know kind of what's coming ahead. Uh, I mentioned already the travel, purchasing. If anyone in the university needs to purchase equipment, office supplies, has to go through a training on how to use the university's um, index number and credit card. So those are some of our most common courses that people are taking. Now looking ahead for the future, we're, we used to do a face-to-face -face supervisory training. Um, those that are new to a supervisory role, whether they're managers, directors. Um, it, this used to be done uh, once a semester uh, for two days. We had a, such a high demand of new supervisors saying, hey, we would open the, the session and within a day or two, it would fill, get filled up. So we had a lot of high, a high demand that we decided, you know what, maybe we should put this online. And starting September 1st, that course, um, those courses should be online now. Uh, inclusion, our universities, uh, one of the focuses is to be inclusive. So we wanna train 
faculty and staff on how to be more inclusive. That's mainly going to be, that's going to be a blend, um, we're gonna, it's going to be blended. Most of it's going to be face to face. We're going to be able to use Bridge to track that. And we'll also have some um, online components to that. New employee orientation, that's the biggest one. Um, because when we first introduced this topic, a lot of people were, well, were hesitant. Wait, so you're not going to have any face to face interaction? Is everything going to be online? And no, that's also going to be planned. We want to put some of the um, you know, policies, history online. And we're still going to have the face-to-face -face welcome to, to, you know, welcome to UVU. This is what we're about. Let's have some fun. Let's get some of that culture. Um, but then, hey, if you want to look at your benefits, go online and look at that. Um, if you want to learn about where to park, you know, go online. So, and FERPA, that one should be coming out um, here in October. And every employee will have to go through that FERPA training. So, again, we expect that number to, that 2200 number to dramatically increase by, by next year. So you're probably thinking, well, great, Daniel, this is this awesome. That's your point of view. Well, what are other people saying at UVU? It's a great question. So we interviewed or we surveyed. I sent a survey to our 18 um, authors. And I asked them, well, what are some of the things that you'd like about Bridge? What are some of the features? And um, this is some of the things that they came up with, tracking graphics. I'm a visual person, I need to view things. If I just download an Excel file, it's useful, but if I can see maybe with a graph, a chart, then it makes more sense to me. And that's what Bridge does. It gives you numbers, it gives you graphs, it makes sense. Um, being able to see who has registered for a session prior to, to, to that session, um, again, with that live, uh, live training, smart quizzes, we won't get into that, but uh, if you have questions, I'm sure the, over in the Bridge Lounge, they can show you some examples of what smart quizzes look like. Live trainings I mentioned, quizzes, adding pages, videos, it's just really, really simple. Um, the last one is a weekly report. Every, once a week, Bridge sends a notification to you as, a, as an employee, as a user, letting you know some of the things that you're working on, and also to your manager, your supervisor, letting them know what are you're working on. So if your supervisor says, hey, are you getting some professional development done? They can actually see that, that report, and they can track your, what you're working on, and so on. Um, simple question, at the end of the day, has Bridge helped you meet your training needs? Out of the 14 uh, authors that replied, all of them say yes. Um, again, it's because it's simple. It's been able to, to help them train people without taking so much time on their job. Most employees, you know, they're, they have other things besides training. Maybe they're, they're accountants at the university. They're uh, advisors. They advise students on, on different things. That's what they do. On the side, maybe 10% of their job is to train other people on other things. Um, and they used to get stressed about training. Most people don't like to come up in front of an audience, especially if they're not used to that, and train people. Um, so when I told them, hey, you can put this online, they're like, hey, so I don't have to stand up and, and talk to people? I'm like, no, I'm like, great, uh, you know, I'll do this. Um, a lot of shy people out there. Last thing I want to show you here is um, some of the quotes. What are people saying? I already showed you some, some information. I asked them, hey, tell me something, uh, uh, you know, something you found great, uh, you know, great. They said, my favorite thing, uh, the features, the tools, the look. Okay. And I, uh, they say, yes, it's that simple to use. And this one's my favorite one. Uh, it makes developing e-learning courses stupid simple. I love it. And it is. It's really simple to use. Again, most of our um, employees, authors that are creating the content, they, have, they don't have a background in e-learning. They're not graphic designers. They're not instructional designers, instructional technologists. They're just regular employees. Some of them are in custodian, you know, they're custodians. Some of them are electricians. Some of them are accountants. They don't create courses as a living. Um, they do something else. So when we introduce this and I, we show them how simple it is, within 20, 30 minutes, they're done creating a course. So I um, think at this moment, we just wanted to, to open it up for um, Q&A. Does anyone have any questions? Either for me or for Matt or, or Brian. Yes. So 
So she, she's asking, what are some of the, the, the tools that we use to create content? Um, Bridge has its own authoring tool, right, really simple. We also use, not all of us, again, because most of our authors, they're not, they don't have background in learning, but they use, um, we have one using Captivate, and another, I use Storyline. Uh, story yeah, and you can use any SCORM and just upload it, and it's really easy to, to do that. Yeah, good question. So, like, Does Bridge allow multiple pass-throughs to the same course, or do you have to recreate a new course? Sorry, does Bridge allow multiple pass-throughs a same course? Like, you have to take this course every year for, uh, to remain compliant? Okay, I think I'm back. Uh, yes, and that's kind of what I mentioned with that sexual harassment, sexual discrimination. You can make it so it expires after a day, after a year, after two years, and that's what we're doing with that sexual harassment, sexual um, discrimination prevention. Um, every two years, employees have to take that course. Uh, so after two years, it will, about a month before that, it's gonna send them an email saying, hey, in about a month, you have to retake this course. So yes. We've had a course where it it's expires every year, and we found that uh, students, or especially so that they can remain in compliance, they want to get in there like at eleven months. You know, is that is that is there some flexibility inside Bridge where you can say, you know, it's good for a year, but you know, you they can re up at eleven months. Uh, as a as an admin, I can go in and let people in. I can. For example, um, our default is to have it, they have 15 days to complete that course. Some people might, I've had people, uh, employees call me back, say, hey, I'm on vacation, sorry, I can't take it, can you extend it for another two or three days? And I can go in and extend that for them. Yes. Yeah, and, and one of the kind of the general tenets of Bridge is that there is that kind of uh, mandated learning, like you're assigned this course and you have to take it, but the other half of it is really self-guided, where uh, users are offered a library of courses, whether that be through courses you've created yourself or, you know, a giant library of partner courses that we have, uh, where, where uh, learners can go and optionally take those courses. Which, which of us can run faster? I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. <laughs> Uh, thanks for this. I had a question about the ways in which you are defining completion because it's it's sounding a little bit like to me the completion of a course would be just the participation through the entire course and then then it's marked off as being complete. But are there opportunities where you could weave in um, different assignments, just to use some Canvas language here, about like quizzes or journal entries or something to also uh, designate that completion of a course? Yeah, so you can, you can have quizzes. Um, you can have questions throughout the course. So you can have you know, some content, then a question. Some content, and then a question. And then you can make it so they need to, um, in order to pass the course, they need to have 80% complete. Uh, they need to get, or 80% um, right, right? 80% um, correct. Uh, you can also add a task, they call them tasks. So it's a requirement. Okay, so I want you to maybe go to this conference um, and you know attend that co that, con that conference, and then come back and tell me that you attended that conference. And we put that into a program. A program again is a set of courses and tasks that you can give assigned to an employee. So yeah, they, they, they can take quizzes and other assignments. That's a couple of Did, did, did you hear that? I think you're asking about is there badging or micro credentialing or. Yeah. So just built into Bridge natively is um, a certificate approach, right? Where you can police, complete a course successfully, you can get a certificate. Uh, but we have partnered with um, several different partners to provide badging just for that very purpose. Yeah. 
Yeah, we do it through partners, but you know, the benefit of having a like two-year-old technology stack is we have a really modern product with modern API set. Um, so we could certainly look at like how we could extend that for your environment to get any kind of custom badging in there. So you mentioned about some of the audience uh, that who might use the system might be external to the institution, like volunteers or maybe community outreach. So do people have to have an institutional um, username in order to enroll into the bridge system? Yes, we have it connected uh, to their to our employees' um, account. So you have to be in our case, we have to be an employee, uh, whether it's student employee or faculty staff. Um, students don't have access uh, uh, to, to the system. Yeah, sorry, I, I can add on. Maybe you have some direct contacts, but no, Bridge does support. You don't have to have a domain account or even an email address. We've got lots of different mechanisms for getting different types of users into the system. In our case, um, even volunteers, they need, they need to be added to the system, even though they're not employees. Um, and so once they're added to the system, then yes, they'll have access to, to, to Bridge. Okay, good. Maybe we'll take one or two more questions, and then I think we're just about out of time. And, and I'll be out there. Uh, if you guys, you can come up to me, and I can answer any questions. Could I get a description of how Bridge will be partnered up with a face-to-face -face environment so that if I'm professionally developing teachers, for example, yeah, absolutely. So built into the Bridge uh, product is a framework for doing live trainings. In fact, you can couple them into what's called programs with online learnings or what are you talking about with tasks. Um, so you can really outline a learning strategy. Um, and what we can do with live trainings is, you know, things like sign-in sheets if you're doing in-person um, trainings. We integrate with a lot of um, like web conferencing providers to extend those to remote trainings. Um, so that's treated just like a, an e-learning course would be inside of Bridge. So you can track attendance, completions, all of this stuff. All right, one more question and then we'll get out of here. Uh, how similar is the administration of Bridge to the administration of Canvas as far as like adding students and shells and things like that? Um, well, it, I guess similar processes. I mean, is there like the the sys upload or, and a similar API, or are they two totally completely different products? I would say it's in in many ways the same as Canvas. Um, every year or every day, um, I get a new list of employees, and it's automatically put into the system. Um, as an author, as an admin, I can go in and assign certain people to take certain courses, or I can leave it open in, in a library. So they can go in and look at the library. Oh, you know what? I'm interested in this course. Let me add that course. Or I can grab a, it can also give me a URL, a link, that I can paste it on my, in my case, in my human HR courses uh, page. And they can see the list of courses that we have available. They can also click on, on that link and add themselves to the course. Excellent. Hey, thanks everyone for coming. We do have a last minute schedule ad. Uh, Daniel will be doing the entire four hour sexual harassment prevention training at four o'clock in the <laughs> River Run Lounge. Uh, thanks for coming. We do have the bridge tent set up uh, just outside. Uh, Brian will be there, Daniel will be yep. there, I'll be there for a bit. Uh, come by, get a demo, ask more questions, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Great job, Daniel. Thanks.